I am calling myself out. I am calling you out. Call it an intervention. I am holding you accountable. I'm holding myself accountable. Accountability, a word that you hear in every YouTuber apology video, all tea, all shade, all offense. If you have felt like a failure for most of your life, all of your life, presently, right now in life, this video is for you. I go through this nasty cycle of trying to accomplish a task and I fail. And then I just feel like a failure. And I felt like this for most of my life and that is not okay it's not good it is not healthy last week i wanted to upload a video i mean i filmed it the aesthetics the vibes the angles the music everything was there and i hated it because i didn't think it was perfect and i didn't end up uploading it and then i was just like oh my god i'm a horrible youtuber i'm a failure and somehow that ended up to me being lonely and homeless with nothing to show for my life. And I realize now that I'm sitting here in my rational mind, I do this so very often. I've done it for so many years and that's not healthy. I'm not saying I am Gary Vaynerchuk. I am not Juk. I'm pretty sure it's Gary Vaynerchuk. But there's a reason why you clicked on this video today and it's because you feel what I feel. The three things that I wanna address in this video are the three things that have led me to that downward spiral. And it's my lack of perspective, my need to compare myself to other people, and my annoying need of perfection. Let's touch on numero uno, my lack of perspective. I realize that a lot of the times us human beings, we have this running negative narrative of ourselves in our mind that is oftentimes not true. And we do this thing, right? Whether it's intentional or unintentional, who do I think I am? We tend to try to prove this narrative right. So, for example, in my moment of distress, I went from not liking the content, feeling like a YouTube failure, and somehow it led me to feel like a failure in all aspects of my life. Felt like a failure as a daughter, as a wife, as a YouTuber, as a human being. And then that led to me realizing that, oh my God, I'm going to end up homeless and alone in the world and I have nothing to show for the rest of my life. That is not, that's not okay. And it's not logical and I'm sitting here literally saying this out loud and I'm just like girl what were you on I realized that whether it was unintentional or intentional of me not posting my video I proved the narrative that I had in my mind of me being a failure as a youtuber because I didn't upload what I should have done I should have taken a step back and really analyzed the situation yes I didn't love the content that I was uploading but instead of just completely trashing it completely deleting it and not uploading it at all I could have looked at the content that I had at hand look at it and say what do I not like about this and what can I change and then hopefully upload it or whatever or if I didn't like it at all I could have looked at what I didn't like about that content look at ways at how I could make my content better in the future so I can consistently upload you see that that is called taking my short-term failure and applying it to what I want to do what I want to accomplish and hopefully attain no nope. not hopefully attain but willfully attain, I don't even know if it's the correct way to say it, English is not my first language, do not come for me. A lot of business people, a lot of successful people do that. The lessons that you learn from the mistakes that you make are actually very valuable to your growth as a human being. From those short-term failures and from those mistakes, you gain experience, which you can apply to what you wanna do in order to gain long-term success. Oh my God, the wisdom. The wisdom I am spilling right now, I cannot even, you cannot even. The next point I wanna to touch up on is comparing myself to other people. When I tell you that comparing yourself to other people is the thief of joy, call me swiper no swiping, because it done swiped the joy out of just everything I'm trying to accomplish. I did not realize how much I was doing this until I was going through what I was going through and I really had to sit myself down. I said, girl, sit down. We have to have a conversation. Yes, I talked to myself. Did I respond? Maybe, maybe not. Mind your business. I was going on YouTube. I was going on Instagram. I was even going on Facebook and do not come for me. Yes, I have a Facebook. It's really great for memes and to look at people who are fighting in comment sections. Okay, do not come for me because I did not send for thee. Oftentimes went on like social media and the internet and I was comparing myself to people who were not even the same career path as I wanted to follow and 
were far more successful than I have been. Those are also people who have been on the like been in the game for so many years. And I was comparing my downfalls to their successes, which it doesn't even add up. When people are posting on social media, what people have to realize and what I had to realize is they're posting their highlight reels. I mean, even to think about it, when I post on Instagram, well, I barely post. Don't come for me, okay? I'm just, she's been going through some things. But even when I post on Instagram, I post when I'm having a good time and I'm not there for a long time. A, okay, I need a, nope. I only post when things are going well and a lot of other people do that as well. I'm comparing moments when I'm having a downfall to people's highlight reel. Make it make sense. You can't because it doesn't make sense. I also was comparing myself to somebody who graduated two years before me who got their PhD and I was just like, oh my God, look at her go. Look at her succeeding. I wish I was this successful. While I was cheering her on mentally in my head, a lot of things go on in here. Sometimes it makes sense, sometimes it doesn't. I was cheering her on. I just felt so inadequate because I felt like her being successful made me feel like I was a failure. And not even realizing like, girl, do you even want to become a doctor? Do you want a PhD? No, no we don't. And I know that's gonna come as a disappointment to some of my family members, but that's why I have two younger sisters who are fulfilling the African immigrant dream of becoming a doctor, okay? But that's not for me. So why am I literally sitting here comparing myself to someone who has a different path? How I had to bring myself back to reality, here's the tea. <laughs> I love using a play on words. It makes me feel smart. I started comparing myself to myself. I really took myself in that moment. I was like, girl, look at how far you've come. Five years ago, even before I met Dan, I was a hot, musty, dusty mess. Well, not musty. That's taking it a little too far. But I was a mess mentally, emotionally, even physically. Ah. I can admit it. I will say that I was not where I wanted to be in life. If someone held up a mirror with the vision of where I am now, where I do have a job in the middle of a global panoramic, I could pay my bills, I have my own place, I'm with someone I love, and realistically, I'm actually doing pretty well on YouTube and I'm creating content for people who actually like me, which is like, okay. With comparing myself to myself, I realized how far I've come. I mean, even just like a couple months ago. No, a couple months ago, I was in Europe. We were doing really well. I am just saying like comparing myself to myself has allowed me to see my progress and seeing how far I've come and how much better I've gotten made me want to be even better versus me comparing myself to other people and feeling better about my shortcomings. It's all about feeling better, not bitter. Get with the program. Last but certainly not least, the thing that drives me crazy and it's something I'm still working on, my need to be Perfect. Let me just put it out there. Perfection does not exist and you will never see it anywhere you go in life, not even in freaking nature. And that is the beauty of freaking life. I will definitely say that my need to be perfect stems from insecurity and it stems from a place of trying to avoid failure. That's really deep. Really soak that in. Really soak that in. And it's not necessarily me wanting to be perfect for other people. It's me wanting to be perfect for myself. I don't know if it's because of my daddy issues, okay? And it's not me seeking validation from other people. It's like this voice inside my head saying that everything has to be perfect. Everything has to be right in order for me to accomplish what I want to accomplish. And funny enough, even when something comes out the way I want it to, I'm not even able to celebrate it because I'm chasing the next step of perfection, which doesn't even exist. Once I realize this, I realize that I don't want anything to be perfect because if you're perfect in every aspect in your, of your life and everything that you do, you never make mistakes and you never learn from those like, mistakes and you never gain experience. I don't want to live a life where I'm not gaining any experience because then I'm never progressing. Do you see? Like, it's the circle of life. It makes sense and once I realize this, my need for being perfect has dwindled down. It's not completely gone because I am still a work in freaking progress. I know that my content is not always gonna be perfect. It's not always gonna come out the way I want it to. But you know what? My content was not perfect when I first uploaded my YouTube video. My God, the lighting, horrible. The makeup, 
I wore concealer all over my face. The audio, can you say static shock? Like it was just really, really bad. I'm realizing now my need to be perfect has messed up a lot of opportunities for myself. For example, you know that video of me on Dan and he's trying to style my natural hair? Yeah, the one that has over a million views, which, okay, thank you. Um, yeah, I almost didn't upload that. I thought I was too boring. I thought that the lighting was off, the background was boring. I didn't like the thumbnail. I felt insecure, not everything was perfect. And I almost didn't upload it, but I did. And I didn't think it was perfect. I still don't think it's perfect. And I almost got in my own way because I didn't think my content was good enough and it wasn't perfect. And that is not healthy because you end up standing in your own way. I hope this video made sense. I hope you guys got something from today's video. I just had to sit down and talk about this because this is something that I constantly go through and I am a work in progress, okay? And I feel like 2021, I am continuing the things that I wanted to do in 2020 in terms of personal growth, emotional, mental, and even physical, okay? Because this booty need to be looking right for all summer 2021 if it's not canceled. I just hope that this video gives you guys some sort of clarity and realize you're not a failure. Especially during these times, in the middle of a pandemic, if you just even simply made it to 2021, congratulations. You freaking lived out probably one of the hardest year in our lives. So pat yourself on the back, pour yourself some wine, eat that Ben and Jerry's, and you know, do do you boo boo and realize that you're not a constant failure. Thank you guys for watching and I love you guys so much. And yeah. Oh my god, making this video has given me so much energy and I haven't even had coffee yet. I haven't had coffee and I feel like I'm all motivated to take on the world and do great things. But realistically, I'm just gonna go make breakfast because I am hungry. And that, in and of itself, is a great accomplishment.